I'm Scott Allen Miller. It's the 22nd of October, 2023. This is my vlog of daily life, living in Nicaragua. Today, as you can see, we are out at the head of the beach at Ponaloya, and I'm gonna head for a walk down into the village. So I'm actually at the south side of Ponaloya. I'm on the road and just walking northbound. So as you come in from the Ponaloya Road, Leon is that way down the road. See if I can point, yeah, that way. It's really bright out here, so I can't even see myself on the camera at all. But uh, we're gonna make our way across the road, walk on the proper side, not get run over. Well, no promises. And uh, boy, the last time I was here, I'm gonna spin this quickly. This building was not in this disrepair. It had like a working roof and everything. Now it's all falling down. So uh, as you come in on the Ponaloya Road behind me from Leon into Ponaloya, uh, the road splits and the main road goes on to Ponaloya and the other side goes to Las Pinitas to the south. Ponaloya is the older beach and more densely populated, but less popular overall. It's, uh, it's a lot of older structures and buildings, so we're going for a walk. Buenas. And uh, you start on high ground because the rocks that separate Las Benitas and Ponaloya are, are quite high and they're kind of off to my left here. And uh, so the road comes in kind of right into those rocks and then splits and goes down to both beaches. And uh, if you're gonna walk between the beaches, you don't normally take the road like I did. There's a direct connection over the rocks uh, off to my left, which we'll show. We've shown before, but it's been a very long time. All right, so we're gonna walk into the village and take you down and show you what the village of, Las, of, of Potaloya actually looks like. Buenas. Buenas. Right as you come into Ponaloya, you have two options. You have the main road. So Ponaloya, like Las Panitas, which you've probably seen a lot of my Las Panitas videos, uh, as you come down the road, it's just one long straight road that goes the whole way through Ponaloya. It comes from the sign at the, at the top of the village and at the very, very far end, it kind of snakes around to some different ground and, and ends up on a dead end, which is essentially the same as Las Pinitas, uh, except here there is a secondary road that kind of runs along it. There's a lot of houses back there. No, no like beach houses, no extra in Harrow's back there. Uh, very, very uh, poor community behind the beach road. Basically, everything's on the beach road. Unlike Las Pinitas, if you've seen those videos, the the beach here, the side of the road against the beach is deeper in Ponaloya, so you often have two houses. You never see that in Las Pinitas. It's all single house on both sides. So you have a denser beach population here in Ponaloya, but you have two rows of houses that generally don't touch the beach and only one that generally does. So it's a little bit different. But right as you come into town, you're gonna hit the uh, Malecon, which is the, it's what we would call a pier uh, in the US. It's, it's the area, the boardwalk, where all the events are, where the, the restaurants and those kinds of things are like for the tourists, uh, for the most part, the amusement stuff. Um, and then, so we're actually gonna cut. So if we were to take the main road, it'd be right there. We're gonna walk the Malecon cone but it's just a tiny little circle which we're going to show you right over here and it just comes right back to the road so we're not going to really miss anything but i'm going to walk you down this way so you can see what this looks like because it's a really important part of ponaloya and some of the best houses uh the most desirable spots in all of ponaloya are right here on the malecon or some of the most historic ones so right behind me some of these are in complete disrepair and some of these are beautiful modern houses that are lived in you, you get a mix here in ponaloya and mostly if it's been rebuilt or if it's original but i also want to show you across the street we have a mix of some really old houses and some relatively new ones. I gotta update my screen because I can't see it. So like this one is very, very modern, quite nice. We have one that's been rebuilt down there that's that's two stories. Hopefully I'm pointing roughly at it, but you can see some are quite old. And then there's whole areas that are just like completely overgrown. And I wanna spin around and show this one behind me. Like this is, like this is all that's left of what used to be clearly a really beautiful estate. Uh, so you really, Ponaloya, you really never know what you're gonna get. You get a lot of older buildings that are falling down. You get a lot of older ones that are worth a lot and people are taking care of them. Um, you get some really historic stuff and you get some modern as things have fully fallen down and been replaced. So 
it's kind of a kind of a wild card as far as we're gonna find here so I'm gonna turn the camera around and actually get some footage of the Maui cone because it is beautiful and interesting um, and and pretty unique as the Maui cones go here in Nicaragua
as you can see here, we are right back to where we turned down to the Malecon uh, behind me. And I just want to point out, this is another one of the beautiful new modern houses that's been redone. And then this is a decent condition, but old one right here. It's probably not a house. It used to be a restaurant, but you get just a very eclectic mix here in Pono Loya. So now that we're back on the main road, we're gonna head north again, just walking down the road to let you guys see what the village looks like. So to the best of my knowledge, this is new. This is a tiny little uh, satellite or annex, as we would often call it in the US, uh, for UNAN, the, the big university. Now there's a large university campus in, uh, in Leon, and uh, UNAN Leon is actually uh, its own university, separate from UNAN, with just the name UNAN, right? People call it UNAN Managua to make sure that they're differentiating. Uh, long ago, it was two campuses of the same university. But a number of years ago, the two were split to be actually independent universities. One got to keep the name UNAN, the original campus in Managua and Leon, which is a major education center, uh, got to just use UNAN Leon. So they have the same general name. That is UNAN Leon with an annex here because this is still in Leon. And oh, we have a puppy right there. Uh, but we didn't have that previously. It was only only a high school and stuff down here. And uh, if you've ever seen, oh, I gotta show this walkway in this house. You can't see any of the house, but check this out. What a beautiful garden, like entrance to a house. I'm gonna do my best to get across the street and let you see it. And then this place here is for sale or for rent, depending on what you want. Um, on And this is where, if you're wondering where we are, we're right across the street from the church. Uh, I don't actually know which church this is, but it is the Catholic Church. Uh, so here you can see it. So it's worth pointing out that here in Ponaloya, if you've seen the show, uh, the budget, the, the Budgeteers, which is a great travel show, uh, especially their early couple of seasons. In one of their early seasons too, I believe, uh, they actually came here to Ponaloya and Las Penitas, and their project that they did here was to help with uh, putting in uh, bathrooms for the local school. That is the school here in Ponaloya, uh, where a lot of uh, people we know have their kids go. So uh, that's just neat that that's where it is. And if you look at uh, their video there's one where they sit around and they do some planning and they're sitting on the beach and they don't give it real clear details where they are. They're actually sitting on one of the tables uh, right on the edge between Playa Roca and the simple beach lodge in Las Benitas, just down uh, to the south a little bit. So if you're watching The Budgeteers, if you're a fan of that show and want to know where they are, this, we're right in the middle of where they were on some of those episodes. Now, the beach is right here behind me. You can't see, you can kind of see how deep this is with the houses and you can see how there's a house down there and a house here. So there's two layers. So I'm gonna spin this around and then you can see this really old uh, bar. It used to be the restaurant uh, Parente Salinas here and it's been gone for a long time, but it was famous, I'm gonna guess like 40 years ago. I'd like to do continuous filming and just do a full walk of the beach and show everything, but it is 
really hot today and the camera overheats really quickly under the best of conditions. So if I do that, we're gonna just lose the camera pretty early and we'll get very little. So I'm, I'm skipping down the beach, but I'm not skipping very far. I'm just walking a few, maybe four or five houses and starting again. So it, you're pretty much able, if you watch a video, connect it all together. But I came across a location. I'm not aware if there's a house here, but it is one that says it's for sale. Now, a lot of times these for sale signs are not necessarily real or they're never shown. I know there's places here in Ponaloya that we saw listed for sale um, before we moved here. So by years, like two years before we moved here and we had researched them. We're like, oh, maybe that's something we're interested in. in. Of course we weren't. It turned out they're terrible properties um, and at terrible prices, many to like Hail Mary prices, of course. We didn't realize it was all a scam back then. Um, so the fact that there's a sign on this, you would definitely want to reach out to the owners, not to whoever put up a sign because you don't even know if the sign is real. It probably is, but you don't know. There's no guarantee because anyone can put up a sign on a on an abandoned property and just be like, yeah, I represent it. And they'll do their best to sell it to you or not. Um, but there is a property here that, that is listed for sale. I know nothing about it, but was not aware that it was available. And I want to point out it's got pulperias on either side of the street next to it. And it's not on the beach side. It's on the non-beach side and it has one side against the little side road that motorcycle is coming out of that leads to the village behind. So this is the beach road we're on, but it sits on the dirt road going back to the little village. Because there are so many walls everywhere, just the way that Nicaraguans build things, it is often very difficult to see much of anything. You can see it's a pretty road, it's a nice area, how things are next to each other, but often you're stuck going past houses and going, well, I'm sure there's something nice there, but I don't know what it is because there's a wall. So this is actually a giant walled area of trees. It's just empty. Um, ah, so we actually know the owners of this house. No idea when the last time is that they were here, but uh, the big blue one is someone that we know. This portion of Ponaloya is very heavily residential. There is the pulperias, there is the um, agencia and uh, licoria, which is the liquor distributor. Those are in this portion. Um, but for the most part, you're not, uh, the Malecon has a little bit, you saw it. There used to be a lot of restaurants there. Now there's very little. Uh, so this section in um, Northern Ponaloya, uh, ten, I'm sorry, Southern, Southern Ponaloya tends to be uh, very residential. It's almost all houses, the school, the university, there's little things but mostly residential. There, there is food right here at this place behind me. It tends to be the local food. There's no like restaurant restaurants in the stretch. All of that is all the way down past the Embarcadero quite far to the north. So we have to keep going north all the way, which I don't think we'll make it to today uh, before you run into a large number of restaurants. And then you get a whole bunch clumped together. So it's like a restaurant area and the rest is residential. Las Venitas is very different that it's a mix of residential and, and uh, restaurants and hotels all blended through. There's also very few hotels here. The idea is either you own or rent. I didn't make it very far before my camera overheated because it, like I said, it is really hot. So I'm doing what little bit of walking I can, but my ride just came by to get me uh, because I was just out doing stuff on the beach while I had a ride that was just doing some errands. So pretty quick one today. This is a great property. That is beachside right there.
So we're definitely gonna come down to Punaloya and get a lot more uh, video in the future. There's a lot to show, there's a lot of interest, a lot of neat properties. Hopefully we can get a tour of some. I've had one or two people on the show reach out and say they'd like to give us some tours, show us around, because they've got properties down here. But it is, uh, it's difficult to coordinate because a lot of people down here aren't here all the time. What I was gonna say is the thing, the, the trend here, I'll point out because this is the perfect timing, is to either own houses or to rent entire houses, not hotel rooms, for like a long weekend to party. So here's a great example of one that is for rent. And, uh, and we have an empty lot over here. This has always been empty, but it's a nice fence. And then a gorgeous house over here. So there's very few hotels in uh, Ponaloya. Staying here in just like a room is actually quite difficult. Uh, what you normally do is you'd, you'd rent out a big party place or all the hotels are in Las Penitas or you'd stay in Leon. So a lot of people who are coming here um, uh, come just for the day. It's a very different uh, type of behavior than you get in other beaches where there's a lot more hotels, you go for a weekend. It's very common with Nicaraguans to come in and just do uh, a long day on the beach and then head back relatively late at night. And my ride is coming down the street right now. So we're gonna call it our little Ponaloya tour for the day, but you got a little taste of it. And we'll definitely come back and do a lot more. I wanna take you down and show you a lot of the restaurants really soon. So that was our little tour of Ponaloya. I hope you enjoyed that. We also spent some of the time today uh, getting the smoker hooked up. We have a new smoker. Uh, we're really into like cooking outdoors, which I mean, all of your kitchen stuff is outdoors here, right? Like even if it's in the house, it's kind of outdoors. But we have a, a really big grill and use that a bit. And uh, Paul likes to do meats. We're vegetarians, so a lot of grilled veggies and potatoes and salmon. Uh, and today we have a new smoker. We've had the smoker for a little while, but it hasn't gotten hooked up. We haven't had all the charcoal and stuff. That is up and running now. And we did um, some uh, smoked meats for Paul, but also smoked salmon for us, which I had as a, like a filet of smoked salmon which is pretty good. Um, and then Dominica tried that. She's not really into salmon that way as much as I am. Uh, and so she got some cream cheese and turned it into a smoked salmon cream cheese that you use on bagels. And she does homemade bagels, which we already had some. So we got to try that. And that was really good. That's a, that's awesome. We don't really have um, smoked salmon like that, that available here. I mean, you can get it, but you have to go to Managua. It's kind of expensive. But if we can get the big salmon from Price Mart and then smoke it ourselves, we get a lot of control over it. We get types of salmon we can't get other Otherwise, it's pretty cool. So I'm very happy that we gave that a try. And uh, that was a cool uh, extra thing for the day. So today was a bit more of a chill, just walk around Point Loya. I want to do more of those, um, hoping to get out more We're slowly. It's been very busy, and, and you can tell I don't have time. I had to do this at night in the office uh, to be able to get this for, for you guys to, to wrap up today's episode. But uh, thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe if you would like to help support the channel. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com slash Scott Allen Miller. As always, please share on social media. Just post that link on the Reddits, the links in the Facebooks, um, and help people learn about the show. And uh, other than that, I will see all of you tomorrow.